Hume Monument. Robert Brown, Aubrey's first settler, aware that not far from his original hut had stood the tree marked by Hamilton Hume in November 1824, Hume River, and that this tree during the 1840s had been destroyed by fire, had conceived the idea of of erecting on the former site of Hume's tree a marble monument, a monument that would honour Hume during his lifetime and after as the discoverer of the Hume-Murray River. Prior to the advent of the border post, there was no form of public communication that would reach all of the people. When the first issue of George Mott's border post printed double royal size appeared on the 4th of October 1856, Robert Brown knew he had a great helpmate in Mr Mott and his newspaper. Five months only passed after the founding of the Border Post when, in March 1857, Robert Brown, with the support of the newspaper, called a public meeting to promote the idea of erection of the Hume Monument. Only 15 months were to pass after that first meeting ere the aim was realised. The monument was erected and unveiling took place 19th July 1858. Hamilton Hume, Captain Hovell and Thomas Boyd, one of the men of the party, all visited the site of the monument upon return visits to Aubrey. Every traveller on the old Sydney road viewed it as they glanced toward the riverbank. Inscribed, erected by the inhabitants of the Hume River, it stayed that way for many years. Aubrey Borough Council minutes recorded in 1884, the Mayor Alderman Thorald moved that tenders be called for the moving of the Hume Monument and re-erecting same in the Botanical Gardens. Later, the Hume Monument was removed to the Aubrey Botanic Gardens. The inscription altered to read, erected by the inhabitants of the Hume River District. Sources, Rosemary Boys, The Hume Monument, Pamphlet. That reading was by Annie Jarrett.